Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get on with the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on to get notified when I post a new video. Okay, so today I will be watching and reacting to Scary Ghost Titans, so let's get right on into it, shall we? Okay, so this video is 10 creepy ghost sightings caught on camera, corn tape rather, and it's from the channel Chills, and as always, a link to both the video and the channel will be in the description below. And then let's get on with it. Chills. Number 10, Ghost Jail. A YouTuber named Junked Up Kitten and his friends are exploring an old county jail. They take a video camera with them so that they can make a parody of the Ghost Hunters television series. Okay. Little did the small group know that on this night they would accidentally capture actual evidence of real ghosts. Junked Up Kitten wanders around the property with the camera close to his face while narrating. He passes by an ordinary looking jail cell window and doesn't think much of it at the time. When he goes back to review the footage <laughs> later, he makes a startling discovery in the window. It looks yep. like his parody show has turned out to be the real thing. <laughs> On the other side of the glass, the colorless reflection of a man's face stares yeah. at him. You can clearly see the I thought I saw something. Brow, nose, and empty eyes. Wow. His cock to the right, almost as if he was really? a newcomer. His mouth appears to be a thin, expressionless line. If anything, the ghost has incredible timing. Right when Junked Up Kitten says that he is looking for evidence of ghosts, one just happens to show hmm. up in the window. It's almost as if the ghost was trying to make its presence known. Perhaps it was even oh, that's good time, man. someone who could free it from its miserable cell. Number 9. Restaurant Spooks Most oh. people think of houses, hospitals, or jails when they think about ghost sightings, but some of the most unsuspecting of places can turn out to be the most haunted. This footage mm. was taken in a popular yep. food joint during broad daylight. A shadow okay. ghost suddenly materializes in a subway restaurant. It starts out in the shape of a human and almost appears to be getting a table. When it gets back to its seat, the black shadow suddenly changes into a floating black blob of an orb. At this point, oh. an employee or maybe a customer appears to see the ghost in the doorway. Whoever they are, they look stunned for yeah, a second and so quickly it. back away. The shadow orb pays no attention to the human as it floats up to the window and lingers there. It's almost as if it's taking a look at the outside world. The ghost starts mm. to rise even higher and the ghost was hungry. appears back to wherever it came from. Number 8. The Ghost Stadium Ghosts don't have to wait until nighttime before they can begin to haunt. As this Brazilian oh. soccer footage shows, the crowd is happily cheering on their favorite team when suddenly a shadow ghost starts sprinting through all of them. Oh. Look closely and you'll notice how nobody tries to move out of the way. Even though a person is clearly running full speed at them, not a single person tries to pull their legs in or even bothers to look up. They are so concentrated on the game that they do not see, feel, or hear the ghost uh, runs directly what? through the half-filled stadium in a straight line. I guess Another they just want to see the games. A YouTuber named No Ghost Hunter grows tired of living in a haunted home and decides to videotape the disturbances for evidence. It's okay. a little past midnight when he hears scratching noises, which soon oh. progresses into running footsteps and loud bangs. These noises appear to be coming from all different areas of the home at once. The next day, his HDTV okay. literally begins rocking violently from side to side all by itself. The rocking oh. motion picks up speed until the corners of the TV are almost hitting the entertainment center, and it looks like the base is going to break. Then, the TV starts rocking back and forth the other way. There is nobody behind the television, and there's no way they could have been using strings to do this. The day Whoa. after, no ghost hunter finds a short video on his phone that he is 100% sure he did not make. The video is shot from the ground level of his kitchen. When you look at the reflection oh. of the oven, you can see that nobody is holding the phone. The phone is literally floating in midair. Additional footage shows the TV shaking by itself again. This time, no ghost hunter is able to film behind the television to show that this is not a prank. Oh, that's crazy. He puts his hand above the television to show that there's no wires, and he even films underneath the base to show that there is no rock coming out from the entertainment center or anything like that. The lights cut out multiple times while he films. A few days later, he captures his refrigerator door slamming open and closed again and again. The brazen poltergeist leaves the door open to make sure its presence is fully known. 
Number six, nah. to watch from above. Another the hungry ghost. They're playing catch in a courtyard. When one of okay. them sees something strange and points it out to the others, the camera follows his gaze and stops on a pale face looking at them from high above. The sickly person looks at them for a second longer before silently slipping out of view. The group is now creeped out and wants to know who has been spying on them this whole time. Oh, they tell hello. the manager about the face they saw in the window, but she says that it's impossible. The room they are talking about has been locked and unoccupied for quite some time. The manager goes up with them to unlock the door and show them around. They try and find the person, but the place is completely empty. There's no way anyone could have been up there, yet the camera obviously says differently. The mysterious peeper has never been identified. Number 5. Old Pete's Ghost wow. There's a famous pub in Sydney, Australia called the Carlisle Castle Hotel. For years, this local watering hole has been haunted by the ghost of Old Pete. A bitter oh. ex-employee who left the earth quite some time ago, but not his job. Oh. His ghostly antics have been <laughs> caught on camera no less than three times. The first time Pete was caught on tape, he was helping a customer. The unsuspecting oh, nice. opens the door to the helpful ghost. He decides to grab two bottles of red wine for himself. <laughs> ghost grip must have not been too tight though, because both bottles go crashing to the floor. Looking at the footage, there's no way that the shelf gave out or anything like that. The bottles were thrown to the ground. Oh. With deliberate force with no one nearby, another incident occurred when the bar was full of witnesses. Everyone is happily enjoying themselves when a okay. heavy red wine glass suddenly dislodges itself and smashes into the counter. Glass shards fly everywhere and the entire bar takes notice. Although this could have simply been a freak accident, what are the chances that, of all the red wine glasses, the one that's directly underneath the server happens to be the one to fall and break? The timing mm. is almost too perfect to be a coincidence. Old Pete strikes again. The third and final mm -hmm. reveals a glimpse yeah. of old Pete himself. The bar is empty this time when the angry ghost suddenly materializes in front of the security camera. If you look closely, you can make out old Pete's head at the bottom of the screen. He appears to be waving. Many other oh, yeah. and customers all claim to have seen old Pete for themselves in one way or another. It isn't uncommon for tapes to turn on by themselves, and the bartenders have seen what they can only describe as strange things while counting down their registers after close. To make this all even stranger, all of the bottles that go crashing to the floor are always high-end red wines. This just so happened to be Old Pete's favorite drink, at least when he was still with the living. Number four, the yes, he tried to get a drink, but obviously can not grab it. Wandering around the woods one summer night with a single goal in mind, they want to explore an abandoned local chapel that's rumored to be haunted. As they okay. approach, they see that someone has written prayers and warnings all over the outside wall. The two friends oh. instantly get a bad feeling about this adventure, but they swallow their fear and decide to press on. The cool, they did. The door is locked, so they sneak around back. Already, they don't want to be here much longer. They had explored an old clock tower earlier in the day and were greatly disappointed by a lack of paranormal activity but yeah. they can tell this church is way different the place looked and felt quite haunted they go up some wooden yeah. steps and enter through the back door they shine their flashlights deep into the church's main assembly there's rows and rows of wooden pews ahead of them they pass by a yeah. podium and notice a piano then they head deeper oh. inside now they find themselves inside of a small maintenance closet they close the door behind them because they don't want anyone sneaking up on them it feels like anyone could be watching them right now. They see a ladder to the left. Steve is about to climb it until Jake jokes that a body is going to fall down on him if he does. So he decides not to. That's oh. when the piano starts to play from outside. Oh, oh man. Oh my god. Turn the light. Turn the light. Oh, nice piano playing. Was a ghost a musician? Soft and haunting piano melody that fills the church. Steve and Jake shut off their flashlights and keep recording. They debate whether or not they should go outside or stay here, where it's semi-safe. Mm. They realize that they can't spend the entire night trapped in the broom closet of a haunted church. So they turn their flashlights back on to see who is playing. Sitting at the piano at the far end of the room is a black hunched over phantom. They scream and shut oh. the door. Jake cries for a bit, then they run away through the back exit. The music stops as soon as they leave the church. They were hoping that the music stopped because it was over, but in reality, it was because the ghost had gotten up from the piano to chase them. They run a uh -oh. distance before pausing to look back into the dark scenery. It seems like they've gotten away, but then the ghost finds them and they run away screaming. The <laughs> camera cuts off as they fall back deeper into the woods. At least one of them survived and uploaded this video onto YouTube, where it's remained for the past 10 years. Number 3, The Teleporter 
So the other one didn't survive? In their house when one of them sees something in the doorway. Whoa. This is the video and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two <laughs> children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the oh. camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even uh -huh. louder and take off again. Number two, stay out of the attic. Back in 2000, right. a man started to notice some strange activities around his house. He would often come home from work to find his dogs cowering under the bed, too afraid to come out. One of his dogs would only oh. come out from under the bed for a brief 10 seconds at most before going straight back into hiding. Something was intimidating these large dogs badly. The owner oh. starts to hear banging noises coming from all over his house. He begins to look around. He eventually traces the noise to his attic and goes upstairs with a camera for a closer look. Everything is completely trashed. Boxes are overturned and clothing is scattered everywhere. Something has violently flung all of his personal possessions all around. As soon as he goes back downstairs, he hears another huge bang and runs right back up the steps. He puts the camera oh. down and searches the empty attic for clues. A nearby metal bucket falls over and he runs out of the room before he gets hurt. Another object hits the ground on its own and the camera moves to the right on its own too. The homeowner is closing chaos. The footage. He waited a week before going back upstairs to get his camera. By now, he is understandably quite paranoid. He begins to yeah, everything he definitely. does in his home, and it isn't long before he has more paranormal evidence. One day, his radio turns to static and a spirit orb rushes out the window. Later, someone violently jiggles the doorknob to the door that leads to the attic. The door opens and shuts by itself. The radio goes back to normal soon after. Things look to be going back to normal for a second, but then a paper towel roll suddenly flies up from the table to the couch, and the radio starts making more sounds again. Whoa. The radio recording starts to get fuzzy too, as <laughs> if a ghost is causing electrical disturbances by passing by. Both of his dogs begin to look in the same spot as if they are following something. Whatever it was, the man was never able to physically catch it on film. He was only able to record its strange mm. and oftentimes violent behaviors. Number one, ghoul school. This footage comes from somewhere right, in the middle of the one. A group of teenagers are curious in an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being oh. attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide okay. to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again oh, as good. they make their way down a long hallway. They open hmm. a door and find graffiti. Oh, well, uh, Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just oh. isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. <laughs> they enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards oh. them. The ghost is missing his head, oh. but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them, but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep well, exploring. Good. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later. But when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, those were some creepy, scary sightings, eh? I guess there were a couple of hungry ghosts there. The one that, the one that went to the restaurant and the one that opened the fridge. And I can't remember his name, but the one in Australia, was it? That <laughs> was thirsty with the red wines. And then we had the headless one at the end. Yeah. Hmm, very creepy, but no, I enjoyed it. Good video. Very good. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on to get notified when I post a new video. Comment down below what other videos you want me to do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.